What's up guys? I am back again to talk about yet another case. Uh, this isn't really <laughs> what I was uh, anticipating on doing when it came to uploading videos, but uh, usually I try to sort of fill a, a need and again with this particular case there's not a whole lot of information floating around so uh, I figured I would just kind of add in my opinions and thoughts. This is the Case Labs Mercury S5. Uh, it's black obviously and it is the what is considered quick ship option uh, where it's sort of pre-configured a certain way uh, rather than you know customizing and configuring it on the website and waiting you know four to six weeks to to get it all in so uh, I actually purchased this at Micro Center for I believe three hundred and sixty dollars um, I think that's also what it's selling for on Amazon and probably even on the Case Lab site uh, but I just kinda wanna talk about how I feel about the case uh, maybe just sort of give you guys some insight into what to expect if you were to buy this case or any case labs for that matter as far as some of the the things are concerned uh, I have to apologize in advance to if you hear some weird noises my my dogs kind of running around here so uh, anyway so what I'm gonna show you here is essentially the case um, as you would receive it if you were to get the same thing the only differences are uh, I did swap out the stock acrylic panel for tinted acrylic and it is missing the front IO panel which I have um, <clears throat> I just removed it for the sake of cleanliness and I'll kind of talk about it here, here in a second but I will say while we're on the topic it is very good quality uh, power switch is a vandal switch um, it's got your audio and USB 3.0 but first off the overall sort of design and aesthetic of the case it's very much sort of this minimalist um, kind of industrial design uh, you can sort of tell when you see it in person kind of handle the case uh, case Labs is just more or less going for quality uh, and functionality over style and they're not even really shy about it I'm pretty much all of their cases are just boxes there's just nothing crazy going on there's no angles or they're not trying to get creative with the way um, you know any of the the stuff goes together like you see on some of these other cases in the market but uh, for them it works uh, it's 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 a very nice looking case in its own right if that's sort of a style that you're going for uh, this is a micro ATX case probably a little bit bigger than what you would expect from a micro ATX case and part of that is just allowing you to have a lot of space to work with inside for uh, water cooling support uh, and that sort of thing um, I wanted to show you guys the the case with a system inside of it I'm actually about to swap these are all this is my personal rig here this was kind of a uh, meant to be more of a temporary build uh, I didn't water cool the graphics card because I was sort of waiting to see what was going to happen with the 1080 Ti but um, looks like I'm going to be waiting a little bit longer on that so I may end up just throwing a block on this 1080 uh, anyway uh, you get the box or you get the case in a you know it, it, it's flat packed um, basically every piece in here is modular I, I shouldn't say modular in the sense that you can you know configure it in different ways on your own but uh, the way it's put together I and mean, you, you you assemble the case yourself uh, all of these are outer panels and then there's basically a frame on the inside it's all aluminum it's very good quality thick aluminum uh, I mean the very first thing you notice when you start to handle these pieces and take them out of the plastic is it's just very good quality uh, and in my opinion it's a case that really feels like you get what you pay for um, in that aspect so uh, it's very much open on the inside I have uh, I have some 
sort of reservations on whether or not I like the layout in here. I just really haven't ever able been able to decide one way or another. You definitely have a lot of potential. Um, I'm actually not even using the full radiator support. There is a mount for 360 at the top here. Probably works better with the extended lid, uh, which is like a 36 millimeter, you know, taller uh, top panel to where you can mount fans or radiator above and below. But that would that would buy you a little more space. Uh, but again, this is how it's configured when you get what's called a quick ship option. Um, basically, yeah, you know, I'm not going to go over every specific little feature because there are. Uh, a few really good what I would consider reviews of this case out there that that gets into all the specifics and the the case labs website is very thorough uh, you can get a very good idea of what you're getting into on the website without someone having to sort of nitpick it but uh, if you're if you're thinking about a case like this uh, you know, if you want a clean looking build, you're most definitely going to have to go custom length cables, which is what I did here. There is no, I mean, I guess technically with the, with this panel on, you don't see down here. So you could potentially just shove a bunch of stuff down in there. Uh, but I mean, you kind of see down in there this way. So, uh, I would say you're, uh, you're going to want to stick with the custom cables on that route. But again, uh, some people do a mid custom mid plate in here. This is a 60 millimeter rad with push pull configuration. And obviously I had plenty of space for that. I've got a pretty hefty overclock on my 5820K. So I wanted to make sure I've got plenty of cooling on that. Uh, this does the, the job quite well. Full load my CPU temps at a 4.7 gigahertz overclocks they they stay right around 62 C so um, this loop is is doing what it needs to do it's not my favorite loop I've ever done uh, like I said it was more of a temporary build uh, but at least it sort of shows off somewhat of the potential of what can be done in here uh, this case could easily handle you know another radiator up here water cooler graphics card I still got space to work with down in here, so you could hide the pump down in here. I chose to mount it on top of this other kind of mid plate here so that uh, there was something to show off through this window other than the graphics card. Otherwise, this would have been kind of like an empty space here. And uh, I love this Founders Edition cooling shroud, so I really wanted to kind of show this off, so I've got... I've got it uplit with LEDs and then of course the UVs shining down. It's probably not showing up great on camera, but it's obviously cast that purple sort of uh, light onto it. But uh, yeah, other than that, there's not much to say. I mean, it's uh, it's a very, very uh, good quality case. I don't think anyone's ever argued that fact. Probably the style's not for everyone. It's definitely not flashy. Um, you know, and it's it's expensive. It's quite expensive compared to cases on the market. I mean, heck, for less than 200 bucks now, there's a lot of really beautiful options out there with tempered glass and even aluminum and that sort of thing. But uh, again, I still feel like you get what you pay for with this case. So I would have no problems recommending this case or any Case Labs case. Uh, the customer service I've dealt with them a few times on a couple things as far as asking some questions and inquiring about some different options on the cases they're always very responsive and very helpful they seem like a really good company to work with um, so in that sense uh, that's kind of nice as well at least you know if you're spending the money and you, and you need to deal with them for anything uh, you're gonna get that there it, you probably have already seen this if you've looked at some other reviews the the outer panels kind of snap into place with these here I could see these if you take the panels off and on a lot I could see that stuff wearing out over time but fortunately every single piece of this case you can order individually from the website even if this little bar right here you decided that you needed to replace it for some reason you could just order a new one every single piece on here uh, you are able to reorder um, if you ever just 
you know, maybe you painted a couple things and then you decided it looks like crap and you want to replace it to stock, you know, the stock powder coat. So, um, yeah, that that's kind of a neat option that you won't necessarily get with any other case. But other than that, I don't really know what else I could say about this. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, regarding this, feel free to either leave it in the comments or, uh, you know, you can shoot me an email, whatever. Uh, I'll most likely respond. I'm usually pretty good about that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I promise you guys. I actually have four builds in the works right now, including swapping this hardware into a new case. I'm not going to go into that yet uh, and kind of switching around the hardware there. I've got something going on in the 570X. I've got a dual system build that I'm working on that's going to be very unique and then I've got a small form factor one as well that I'm almost finished with that I've done some modding to. So I hope to be uploading some videos that are going to be more interesting than this uh, in the near future but for the time being I figured before I took the parts out of this case I'd go ahead and try to you know give my thoughts on it and show it off with some parts in there so you could potentially get an idea of you know what some stuff might look like in here. So. Again, um, I'll see you guys soon in some upcoming videos, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.